An IRS agent must review a stack of nine randomly chosen tax returns for mistakes. If mistakes occur in 10% of the returns, what is the probability that there is at most one return with a mistake? Okay, so when I read this problem, um, the first thing I realize is that it's a probability problem, of course, right? And then I have to decide what kind of probability technique it involves. So it says that we're looking at nine randomly chosen tax returns, and we're looking for the probability that most one return has a mistake. Um, if we have nine tax returns taken and we're looking at them, there are some nine separate events. And if all nine are going to have mistakes in the problem, or we say that none of the nine have mistakes, then I think it's just basic multiplication rule of probability. Um, if it said the probability of at least one has a mistake, then I would think it's that technique, at least one probability, um, which will involve multiplication rule, but it has its own uh, special technique to it. But here it says at most one return has a mistake. So in this case, I'm pretty sure that it's binomial probability. Remember, any time a subset of the total number of things you're looking at behaves a certain way, so in this case only one or zero, because if it's at most one, it means either zero or one return will have a mistake. Any time a subset like that out of the group that you take is going to have some property and all the others have another property, that means that you're usually working with a binomial probability problem. Now, if that's the case, if you think it's binomial, you should go through and check to make sure that's true. The way you do that is you check all the conditions for a binomial probability. So first thing we want to check, um, do we have a fixed number of trials? The answer is yes, we do. Is it an either or outcome, either a success or a failure? Well, that's true because we're looking for mistakes. So either it has a mistake or it doesn't. Are the trials independent? Yeah, I think so because if you have a stack of nine randomly chosen tax returns, the fact that one return might have a mistake should be independent of another return having a mistake because the returns are not um, connected. They're not the same reviewer, let's say, or the same guy who's um, forming or filing the return because it's a randomly chosen tax return. All right, and then finally, um, is there a fixed probability? Is there a probability that's constant throughout? It says yes, it's a 10% chance of the returns having mistakes, so we have a fixed probability. So I think it's binomial in nature, and from that, then I should go ahead and write a probability statement. So I'm going to start out with the idea that we're looking for the probability that x is, and when it says at most 1, that's the same to me as less than or equal to 1. Isn't that true? I think that's correct, right? Probably that most one, that's x is less than or equal to one. Now, if that's the scenario, then basically I have to think about well, what does it mean to be less than or equal to one? Well, it means that it could be that we're looking for the probability that x is equal to one, or the probability that x is equal to zero. So those are the two probabilities that make this true. The only way x is less than or equal to one is if it's one or if it's zero. And now the word or in probability means the addition rule. So basically I need to do the probability that x is equal to 1 added to the probability that x is equal to 0. If I can solve that, and which I should be able to do basically by using binomial probability twice, then I have the solution for the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and use binomial probability. Remember the formula in general is n choose x the probability of success to the x power, the complement of that probability to the n minus x power. Okay, so n in this problem is 9. There are 9 turn returns being looked at. We're going to choose 1 here to have a mistake, right? The probability that a return has a mistake is 10%. So we're going to say 0 0.10 to the 1 power. That's one return with a mistake. And then if there's a 10% chance that there's a mistake, there must be a 90% chance that there's no mistakes. And in that case, um, you know, the leftover returns will have that probability. So if one return out of nine is going to have a mistake, the remaining eight returns do not have a mistake, right? And we're going to add to that um, nine choose zero, right? Out of nine returns, choose none of them to have a mistake. That's pretty straightforward. Probability that we have a mistake is 10%. If none of them are going to have a mistake, we'll raise that to the zero power. And the remaining, you know, 0 0.90 probability or 90%, that'll be all the remaining nine returns, right? If none of them are going to have a mistake, the other nine will be good. There's a 90% chance that they're good. So that's our formula filled out. Now the rest is calculator work, right? So we need to take our calculators and just try to plug this stuff in. So 
Um, nine choose one, you don't really need a calculator for that. Um, anytime you have nine choose one or n choose one, it's always just going to be this answer. So it'll be nine in this case. If you wanted to check that, you hit nine in this calculator, math, PRB, option three, the number one, and you'll see it comes out to be nine. So we don't need a calculator for that, but if we did, it's nine. Um, this one, nine choose zero, anytime you're choosing zero, nine out of nine things, you want to choose none th no things. How many ways can you do that? Just one way always. So anything with a choose zero is just one. So we have a couple of those easy things to remember. So this is nine times 0 0.10. So the one power is just 0 0.10 times 0 0.90 to the eighth power. Plus this is just one. Anything to the zero power is one. So that'll reduce to just 0 0.90 to the ninth power. And then we can get the solution from there. Okay, so now finally, let's finish this up. 9 times 0.1 times 0.9 to the 8th plus 0.9 to the 9th. And when we're done, we get 0 0.775. Or in other words, the answer is 77.5%. What's the probability when you look at nine returns that you find at most one mistake in the batch? 77.5%.